Hey, it's Jason Kravitz here back at the fatherly.com live lounge at Dad 2.0 La Jolla 2017. It is La Jolla still, right? I, I believe Last so. I checked. Or it's La Jolla. La Jolla. La Jolla. This is Sean Singleton, who I uh, met a couple years ago yes, in San Francisco, Dad 2.0. Right. And you are the founder and creator of Pop Life, which is uh, it's a t-shirt company about fatherhood about it's, yeah t-shirts that tell the uh, the story of fatherhood t-shirts that tell the story of fatherhood and where people where can people look at that pop life poplife.com poplife.com that's p-o-p-l-y-f-e -E. that's how you got that poplife.com <laughs> go there for your your parenting t-shirt needs there's some good stuff here's one right here yeah you're wearing one now right blended family now why are you wearing a blended family t-shirt so um, i'm back here at uh, 2.0 this year, and uh, this year I'm going to be speaking on a panel about blended families. And what, so, what is a blended family? So, um, for most uh, cases, uh, it's usually when you're remarried and you, you know, both uh, parents are bringing kids to the new family, and, and uh, you're, you know, creating a new living situation, blending all those relationships, blending families together. Is that your ex personal experience? Exactly. Yes, yes. What's your blended family look like? So, uh, my uh, I have three kids of my own. I have two daughters and a son. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter. My oldest daughter is 16, my middle daughter is 11, and my youngest son is 9. Mm -hmm. And then my wife has two sons, uh, 12 and, and 14. And how long have you all uh, cohabitated? So it's been about three years for us. Mm -hmm. um, my wife and I met about six years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, we just got married back in May. Right. Um, but uh, we've all been living together for about three years now. How, how is that? What is that like? So, yeah, when you have a blended family, there's uh, there's how unique challenges. Challenge. There's unique challenges. Yeah, yeah you, you have to deal with cultural differences sometimes, mm -hmm. religious differences. Not in our case, but in general. But um, for you, I mean, uh, was there any sibling rivalry? Did people get no, along? We actually had a really good experience blending our families. When our kids first met, mm -hmm. the first night they were all together, um, they took off for about two or three hours. Like they went off in somebody's room, they all played together, we didn't see them for three hours. Wow. And ever since then, um, they, they all really get along really well. The only time there's conflict is generally between the real siblings. So my kids will fight with each other and right. her kids will fight with each other, but, but very rarely together. Interesting. Yeah, inter intermixing that. And, so. and uh, is your, are your children's uh, mother still part of the picture? Yeah, so for, on both sides, uh -huh. uh, you know, my, my wife's ex-husband is still, you know, in, in their life and my, my ex-wife is still in my so kids' there, lives. Is there a lot of like kids moving from one home yes. to home? home? Yeah, well, we, have shared, we have a shared custody um, you know, arrangement. So uh, we'll have the kids for five days on, five days off kind of thing. So, and you know, that's something else that can be challenging for the, for the kids themselves. Sure. They're constantly kind of going back and forth and coming back together and having to be part of the, you know, our big family and then going back to their, their other homes right. where in some cases, you know, they have you know, another family. <laughs> another so, blended family. Yeah, another blended family that they wow. have to deal with. And so um, I'm sure it can be challenging. I, I've never been on, you know, a kid in that situation. Um, but, you know, they, they seem to kind of roll with the punches. And, and, if you had to, and if you had to give one solid piece of advice for dealing with a blended family, do you have anything that comes to mind? Well, I think the thing is when you're talking about there's there's not really one thing that you're you're really looking at or that that really works for everybody because sure. every situation is so different. Right. Um, I think the one thing that you that I could say is that you want to really want to think about how you're going to blend that family. Think about all of the challenges that you have coming up mm -hmm. and figure out together how you're going to deal with those when mm -hmm. situations do come up. Because I think if you talk about uh, the things that are going to happen before they happen, at least you kind of started a dialogue. So even if you don't necessarily have a solution, mm -hmm. um, you've, you've talked about it, you've brought the sub subject up. For instance, like discipline, like how are we going to, you know, are you going to discipline my kids? Am I going right. to discipline your kids? Yeah. If you have those discussions before a situation comes up, you're not caught in a situation where you've punished your, your significant other's kids kids and then they come back and get mad at you because right. you've, you've punished them. Or, or so the best thing to do, well, one of the things you can do, I guess, as you're saying, is just be prepared. Yes. Talk about all the potential yes. obstacles you're going to face so when you do hit them, they're already on the table. Yeah, but bit. you don't want to hit anybody. Without actually hitting. <laughs> without actually hitting, because there's no hitting. There's no hitting. Yeah, exactly. So it, just talking about things ahead of time and, and being on the same page is important. Yeah. You know, the, uh, the kids, especially in blended families, they realize that it's a unique situation and 
some kids will, you know, take advantage of that. Um, so you kind of have to be a strong, you know, unit as, as parents as well. Just as, you know, same thing when you're, you know, a natural parent. So. Yeah. Sean Singleton here to talk about blending families this time around, but also poplife.com. <laughs> uh, dot com. Go get your t-shirts now. There's some good stuff. Great to see you again, man. Great. Thanks, man. Sign our sign. I will do. And I uh, will be back with more Dad 2 uh, very soon.